It is a joy to be here. Thank you for inviting me to this first ever symposium on the Elsa Revolution that was indeed a religious experience. Not that it was a miracle in the biblical home. Walang himala. No sick were healed, no water turned into wine, the sun did not dance. Sabi nga sa pelikula ang himala. Sabi ni Elsa, ang himala ay nasa puso ng tao. Dagdag ng Edsa, ang Himala ay nasa pagkakaisang dibdib ng sambayanan. Edsa was about ordinary people in great numbers who dared to confront and arm the military might of the dictator and discovered in the process their mind-boggling power when united by a common goal. Uh, let me read now from Himagsika, something I wrote in 2000, 1998. Kataiba ang kwersa ng madla. Ito, ito ang pinatunayan ng people power. Mas maraming tao, mas makapangyarihan. Basta may, basta may napagkaisahang nitiil, kahit anong babaw, kahit anong lalim, ang maraming maraming tao, madaling malalapasan ang kanya-kanyang mga hinain at pagkakaiba-iba at nagkakaroon ng tuwang para pahalagahan at ipaglaban ang pagkalahatang kapahanan. Sa pagunang-unahang pagkakataon sa ERSA, naranasan ng taong bayan ang pakiramdam at kapangyarihan ng nagkakaisa ang itunan. Sa kapaligiran mismo ng ERSA, iba klase ang naging ugnayan sa pakitutungo ng bawat Pilipino sa isa't isa. Tila ibang mundo ang ginagalawan nila noon. Kung, sa la kung saan lahat ay pantay-pantay, lahat ay may karapatan at may papel na ginagampanan. Walang mahirap, walang mayaman, walang nagugutong, walang nandaraya, walang kristyano, walang muslim, walang kanan, walang kaliwa. Kumbaga, nakakil ang Pilipino ng isang mundo na dati sa panaginip lang o sa pelikula, Nasisigit. Mundo na ubod ng saya dahil kabutinan at pagmamahalan ay naghahari. Mundo na naminimiti ng bawat lahi at relisyon na kaya, na kaya palang kabutin at kamasahin sa buhay na ito. Basta nangingibabaw ang pagkakaisa at handa ang taong bayan na ipaglaban ang kapakanan ng lahat at hindi na ilan. EDSA was about ordinary time and sorry. Going to EDSA was like stepping into another world, altered states. In the unified field of consciousness that was EDSA, the people found themselves easily rising above religious, political, and class differences, and willfully daring new ways of thinking and acting, relating and bonding for the sake of the whole. EDSA was an unexpected dream a taste of a happier kind of existence. Life can be better, kinder, fairer. People can be selfless, caring, and cooperative. Resources can be shared. Differences can be reconciled. When it was finally over, I eagerly awaited a definitive account of the four days from the information arm of the revolutionary government, thinking that it would be the first to want to know and to share with the people what really happened in EDSA and how much of it was people power, how much of it was the work of people power, the better to keep the spirit alive. It was not until much later, as I was fleshing out my chronology, that I saw why it had not been in the interest of the foreign government or the new armed forces or even the militant left to look too deeply into the, into the dynamics of people power. The prospect that patronage politics and armed forces could be made obsolete by people power was simply not to be acknowledged, much less encouraged. Far better for the status quo that Elsa be painted a miracle made in heaven or mob rule or orchestrated by America. This is why I am so pleased to be part of this historic first symposium. Time indeed to spread the word about ELSA 
and about how nonviolent people power can change the game. Salamat sa Philippine Historical Association at sa GSIS ng Sayon and Sinin. Mabuhay ang ELSAC.